A festival that celebrates the traditions of India is returning to downtown San Antonio this fall. Diwali San Antonio Festival of Lights will be held on November 4th at Arneson River Theater in Hemisphere. The event will take place from 4.30 p.m. to midnight. People can experience traditional Indian dance and entertainment in addition to food and merchant booths from various parts of India. You can get more information. All you have to do is go to ksat.com. Indian food is pretty good, isn't it? A little spicy. A little bit. A little something a little to bit. it. Uh, kind of warm like the weather, right? Uh, 89 today uh, is what we're expecting. Mostly sunny. A hot day. 94 tomorrow. Record setting probably Friday and Saturday. Does finally cool back down some Sunday with some added cloud cover. And then we get some rain chances next week. Uh, maybe some downpours here and there could produce some good rain. Hopefully some tropical moisture moves in, guys. Thank you, Justin, and thank you for watching the news at noon. Can't wait to see what a lot of you think is your favorite Halloween candy. You just want the beer. You're just uh, saying you want the I beer. wanted the bucket. You want the bucket. <laughs> SA Live starts right now. And today on SA Live, we are ready for trick or treating and that sweet Halloween candy. Yes, the candy corn for David. We travel around town and head to the newsroom and find out what San Antonians' favorite Halloween candy is. Plus, it's a spooky preview. We visit the Haunted Oaks Haunted Attraction inside the Rolling Oaks Mall for some thrills and chills. That is pretty scary looking. And it's this year's top costumes for adults and children. Where to get your last minute Halloween looks before they are all gone. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Well, cheers and happy Thursday. It's going to be a fun show ahead. Oh, you, are, oh, you started. Okay. Cheers. You always, isn't it bad luck if you don't drink it? Oh, I had cheer? to read. I had to. <laughs> She's Fiona. I'm Mike. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and of course, we are talking beer. And our first guest today is one of many local brewers that you can enjoy this weekend at the San Antonio Beer Festival. Beer Festival. Festival. That's right. Joining us is Amy Cartwright, founder and president of Independence Brewing. Okay. Welcome. Uh, anybody Thank who has you. missed it before, how many Cheers. beers will Cheers. be at this festival? Well, we will have four of 320 beers available uh, at the festival this Saturday. It's going to be at Crockett Park. Okay. And are these all just small independent brewers like yourself? You know, there's a variety of sizes, all shapes and sizes really, but there's a definitely a Good showing of breweries from San Antonio, the Rio Grande Valley, the South, regional breweries, maybe some even some larger uh, imports. So they have just breweries from all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking at the armadillo hole. Oh. <laughs> That's just so great. Okay, um, so how did you start, when, it, when and how did you start brewing? So I started uh, Independence Brewing back in October of 2004. So we just celebrated our 19th anniversary. I was just on a mission Cheers. to make- Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I uh, just wanted to bring like a diverse quality beer to the market. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've, I like to say for the thinkers and drinkers of Texas. And uh, that's the, us. <laughs> Indeed. That's us. All right, one you brought finger, a couple of them here finger. right now. This is yes. the Native Texan. And pour that up so we can take a look at it. So, how yeah. would you describe this beer? So, Native Texan is a traditional German style lager, it's a mm -hmm. Pilsner beer. So, the whole intention of, behind it is to have, you know, lighter malt base, just a little touch of German noble hops, uh, and it's crisp and delicious, just refreshing light beer. Now, you have two different glasses there. Are there yes. different glasses for different beers? Like there's... There are, actually. This is a traditional Pilsner-style glass. Okay. And this is a glass that's designed more for IPAs. The reason why they're different glassware yeah. is it basically is going to bring out uh, the aromas differently so that, you know, we want to smell just as much as taste the beer. And uh, that's the purpose behind so it. So does each one look differently when you pour it? Uh, you know, I'm going to pour some so you can see it. Okay, so that is what you would expect, like a good European German lager. Yes. Mm -hmm. The color. And we want okay. that all that carbonation just to sit there at the top. Right there at the top. Okay, Beautiful. so that's the, the age old question. Do you pour it down the side or down the middle? You know, I think with a Pilsner or certain kind of lagers, I just, I'm looking more for that, you know, the Germans like to say the three finger rule. You know, you want that, that head to remain on top. Um, so you can just continue to get the aromatics and bubbles. I Release that was some how of the flavor. You pour in the glass. Three <laughs> different, different episodes. Different, so. Yeah, different <laughs> episodes. <different. laughs> and then you have an IPA as well. Yes. Um, so that's our stash IPA, and mm -hmm. then over here I have Twine Time, which is a hazy style IPA. So, okay. what is um, that? 
Basically, it is uh, allowed, it's not filtered, and we actually use a little bit of flaked oats, use a different yeast strain, and basically are trying to extract different flavors and aromatics from our hops. Okay. Okay, and speaking of hops. So you can see the difference here of like, this is not clear right. versus very clear. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And this mm -hmm. is one of the things beer is made out of. Yeah, so that's a representation of some hop cones. So hops are, are, are ingredients, core ingredients for brewing, and they bring flavor and aroma to different beer traditions. So this are these little cones we want to harvest and uh, get the essential oils out of the cones. And basically we use those and to bring out different characteristics. Okay. And then you've got you that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is, these are just different malted barleys. So basically the barley is ta taken and kilned and the temperature then at which it's toasted or roasted will bring on different colors and different flavors. And those are what we use at the first st stage of the brewing process. And so what's a good beer for different types of beer drinkers? I tend to, when people come visit, they, that's the first question we ask. What, do you, what have you liked before? Mm -hmm. um, so you, some people gravitate towards lighter styles, like the German style lager here. Mm -hmm. They just want something crisp and refreshing and light. But you know, you'd be surprised a lot of people gravitate towards maltier styles. So you have our amber ale, stouts, porters. They just like that roasty, more chocolatey notes. Um, IPA drinkers, we just love hops so much. They're like candy to us, you know, so you're speaking of candy, but you know, you have floral hops, you have grapefruity hops, you have juicy hops. And that's where kind of your creativity, like a chef creating a great meal and you blend all these different things together. Yes, it's, okay. a, it's, a, it's a lifelong project to, to continue finding interesting ingredients. And real quickly, so much more there besides the beer, there will be... Oh, there's gonna be yeah. so much fun. There's live music, there's something for everyone. 320 beers mm -hmm. to sample from. You could spend days having beer and, and fun. We've got a discount and as well, right? Yeah, that's right. That's We yeah. do. $5, Five dollars off, off each <laughs> ticket with the code <laughs> SA Live. Yes, all right, and there it's will going be on. food too, right? Oh yeah, there'll all be food, food, beers, live music and good vibes. Okay. Crockett Park this Saturday. Check it out there and uh, once again. Cheers. 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 Thank y'all. Don't forget, Native Texan, Independence Brewing Company. More information, Independence Brewing at San Antonio Beer Festival. Head to salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab or just scan the QR code. I was reading your line so you could have a sip of beer. That's right. Yes. I did. Okay. All Is right. this your it line? You it's want me to read your line? Sure. It's a good time to start buying your Halloween candy at the store while they're still stocked. I was trying to mouth that with her. <laughs> so our question of the day, what is your favorite Halloween candy? I was at the grocery store uh, looking at the Halloween how candy. How long is this story? Uh -huh. Not very long. Okay. It's a lot more expensive this year. Well, in some cases, know. some of those, yeah. Yes. I know, okay, it is. Okay, I'm glad. What's your favorite candy? Halloween you noticed. candy. Uh, but, uh, Butterfinger. Ooh, that is good, isn't okay, it? Okay, what is yes. yours? Don't well, it's always Twix, but... Oh. Okay, pick one. Halloween and of means. course, Twixes, they come in two there. There are even two in there. You can't do it. You are code. Let us know what your favorite candy is as well. Halloween, of course, means costumes, creepy concoction, concoctions, and candy, too. Easy for me to say. Yes, there's always the question, what is the best sweet treat you can get while trick-or-treating for the kids, but also for the parents? So, our Gen Tobias Trusty went around asking some folks their favorites, including some familiar KSAT faces. Yeah. All right, Alejandro, we're talking Halloween candy. Do you have a favorite? Absolutely. My favorite candy is definitely Kit Kats. That's a great one. Do you have a second choice? Oh, second choice is going to have to be nerds for me. So a chocolate and then more sweet. Yeah, a little bit of a mix-up. Got to have some variety in there. Okay, Nilea, what is your go-to favorite Halloween candy? Um, it would have to be Snickers. Chocolate is the best. Okay, we're back at KSET now asking some of our employees here, what is their go-to Halloween candy? But in order to get the candy, don't you have to dress up? I think I just spotted IT Rex. Okay, look, he's perfect. I think he can help me ask the rest of our friends here at KSAT what their candy is. You want to help out? That's a yes. That is a yes. Okay, let's go find our next victim. 
All right, IT Rex is holding the mic. We've got Henry. Very important question. I know you have a daughter, right? So I'm yes. sure sometimes you go after her Halloween candy. Yeah. What is your favorite? I like um, I like to go after Snickers. Snickers. But my favorite good. one is what you call it? The candy bar. That takes me back to middle school. Yes, what you call it? Those all the time. Yep, yep, yes. Yep. All right, the what you call it? That's the first that we got so far. Mm -hmm. All right, good answer. Ah! <laughs> so what is your favorite Halloween candy? Anything gummies. Gummy bears, mm -hmm. sour gummies, mm -hmm. all types of All bananas. the gummies. Okay, that's <laughs> perfect. All right, so you like the sour ones too. Those yes. are really good. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Thank you to Tiffany. There you go. A little T-Rex <laughs> kiss there. Thanks, Tiffany. <laughs> we found some more of our employees here. We've got Priscilla and Asian. Priscilla, we'll start with you. What is your favorite Halloween candy? Don't mind our IT Rex here holding the mic. Ooh, I really like the mini Three Musketeers or the Milky Ways. And I like mini, not fun size, because then I feel less guilty about eating. There you go. You just eat a lot of them. I was going to say, how many do you eat? Though, right? <laughs> Probably five each. I don't okay. know. <laughs> All right, Sam is with me now. Sam, we're asking a very important question. Yes. What is your favorite Halloween candy? Probably Reese's peanut butter cups. Those are the best. I really like the Reese's uh, pumpkins for Halloween. They only come out during Halloween time, but Reese's are my favorite. And what is your favorite Halloween candy? T Rex wants to know here. Uh, probably Reese's peanut butter cups. That is a favorite. What about you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. I think they have an agreement here. All right, look who we ran into. It's Max Massey. Max, do you have a favorite Halloween candy? Reese's Cups, by far. We have a very important question, Ursula. What is your favorite Halloween candy? Oh, uh, uh, I love Reese's. How many Absolutely. Is that? You are like the fifth person, I think, that said that. Yes. But, you two? <laughs> I didn't know dinosaurs ate Reese's. Oh my oh. gosh. I could smell it on his breath. <laughs> Peanut butter breath. Asian, what is yours? Asian's one of our photojournalists here. Uh, okay. It's a classic. Reese's. Like, there you it's go. just I think hands down the best now, candy person? ever. Happy Halloween. <laughs> yeah, I'll take a Twix. I'll t I, ain't, I ain't mad at no Twix. All right. <laughs> yep. Right or left? Both. <laughs> Ambidextrous. So you've been asking everybody what, what their favorite candy is. What is your favorite candy? Yes, yours. What's your favorite candy? Oh, me. <laughs> You like sweets. That, the see? Ah, yes, very good. All right, T. Good luck, bud. So, uh -huh. I'm having trouble printing down here. Is that because the IT guy is dressed up like a Tyrannosaurus Rex right now? Yes, but it's always <laughs> awesome every time he does. Oh, okay. Hi, okay. <laughs> 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 I thought you were going to say something. Custom Halloween jewelry that's been hand sculpted from a local pop up artist, and how you can get your own personalized Halloween jewelry and accessories. Enter if you dare. I have a scary good time visiting the Haunted Oaks haunted attraction inside Rolling Oaks Mall. Be sure to spooky look inside next on SA Live. It's a terrifying spectacle that will linger in your memory long after you've left. Ah! We're taking you to the Haunted Oaks Haunted Attraction inside Rolling Oaks Mall. Gosh, that was creepy. Where there are hair-raising surprises ah! for everyone. Just call me Fearless Fiona, but it's fearless to a point. This place is pretty creepy. Not this guy, though. This is Ryan Valdez, and he's going to tell you all about Haunted Oaks here at the Rolling Oaks Mall. What is new this year, Ryan, and is there a theme? So new, to, new this year, we have uh, pretty much a lot of characters coming in, different characters. We're always rotating here at Haunted Oaks. We're different. That's what makes us different from other attraction, haunted attractions here in San Antonio, Texas. The theme, whatever's in your nightmares that you can think of, whatever your phobias are. Those are gonna come true. Come, come to Haunted Oaks. <laughs> it, it, something will happen for you. So clowns to classic Halloween monsters, yes, you never know what to expect, yes. right? Yes. Okay, and what is the scariest thing that has happened here? Because I've heard some scary things happen. So scary things, there is some paranormal activity, if that's what you want to call it. 
Um, I have some actors complaining that, hey, there's a doll in my room, it's moved around. No. Yeah. Stop it. Yes. I promise, yes. <laughs> yes. We hear some stuff after hours, during hours of operation, so. All right. Heebie-jeebies, for yes, sure. Heebie yes, Heebie-jeebies. Okay. And for those who might want to experience, oh, something a little less scary, there is a haunt for the kids. Yes, there is. That is uh, during... On, only on Wednesdays, Saturday and Sundays. So on Wednesdays from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. No actors at all. Mm -hmm. Props are working. There's fog going, music going, lights, the whole little creepy vibe, but just no actors in there. And with an adult ticket, the kids they get in free. They yes, ma'am. Free. Yes. That is fantastic. Okay. Tell folks how they can buy tickets. So you can buy tickets at thehauntedoaks.com. Also, for, to find our hours of operation and when what days we are available to come visit Haunted Oaks, go to our Facebook and Instagram at The Haunted Oaks. And speaking of phobias, tell us about the special event that's happening. Special event this Friday of this month. It's the 20th. It's going to be Clown Night. We have about over 20 to 25 clowns coming in. It's going to be really creepy in here. <laughs> okay. I don't want to ask from where they're coming in. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go through and see just how spooky it is. Any Words of advice, Ryan. Just watch your back. That's all I gotta say. Why do I always do this alone? after all that screaming. <laughs> it's scary. But guess what? Kids get in free with an adult ticket on Saturdays and Sundays, noon to five, and Wednesdays, five to nine. And guess what? It is a kid kitty haunt, so no actors. They just kind of walk through. So it's dialed down a whole lot. So for the braver kids you may have, thehauntedoaks.com for more information, 210-677-5289. take you to Spirit Halloween. There's several locations in town, all your Halloween needs, and we're gonna show you some costumes in case you still haven't got them, some for the whole family. Plus, take a seat and relax. In the shower, we look at specialized remodeled bathrooms that are safe, beautiful, and most importantly, relaxing. Stick around. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, your shower should be a relaxing, safe space, but if you have a stock shower head and nowhere to sit, you know, it can be more of a get in, get out type situation. But if you're looking to make a change, I Need a Shower is ready to help you and fast. And here to tell us all about the exciting shower relaxation trends, customer happiness manager, Allie Stringer, our good friend. Hello. Good to see you. Hello, Mike. Okay, how can I Need a Shower make your bathroom a more I feel like I have to whisper and say relaxing space. And it's relaxing spa-like escape. Yes, so what we do is we can come in and one of the top things that we do is we convert tubs into walk-in showers. So that's one way you can do it to make it more relaxing because climbing in and over a tub that you don't use, that's just not fun. 
it's not relaxing, and it's not safe. Mm -hmm. So we can come do that, and then once we start doing your walk-in shower remodel, we can accessorize with a few different great ways to relax. Okay, so what's one of the best ways to relax in a shower? Because a lot, of, I mean, you don't necessarily want to stand up the whole time if you're trying exactly. to relax, right? Exactly, so one of the top things, and you can see it here in the pictures, we can do grab bars. And the reason our grab bars are the best you can get on the market is that they're actually anchored to the studs, right? The framing of the house, and we can block that's what that's called, frame and block, mm -hmm. wherever you want your grab bars. So they can hold up to 400, uh, 400 pounds of force. We can put them virtually anywhere in the shower that a homeowner wants. So like here you can see there's a grab bar. So whenever they sit down on the bench, they've got mm -hmm. a grab bar to steady themselves and lift up with. Sometimes we put them near the entrance. I mean, really, it's totally customizable. You know, you think about that as you get older and maybe, you know, mm -hmm. little, not walking so well or something like that, or somebody <laughs> with um, ability problems. But, mm -hmm. I mean, if you, you know, drop your washcloth or drop the shampoo bottle, yeah. you can just hang on to something because we've all kind of slipped in the shower at one point or another, right? Yeah, absolutely. So they're just a great feature to have. I've caught myself on mine, yeah. right? Uh, you know, and then also we do a lot of benches and seats, which you saw in those pictures. So those are great whenever you just want to sit down, relax, you know, if you shave your legs, you know, it's great to have also mobility. But sometimes when you sit down, then you can't get the shower right in the right spot, and you've got a solution for that too, right? Yeah, absolutely. So that's when a detachable shower head comes in handy. And what those are is it's a detachable shower head that's got a long hose, mm -hmm. so you can use it whenever you're sitting down on your bench. And ours, actually, we have the option to do a little magnetic uh, docking station. So that way, you know, when you sit down, you can put your shower head right there. It's not spraying all over the place and you can use it at your leisure. Oh, so if you wanted to like, have it getting right in that one spot right. right there and you can sit down and just kind of you you can just, just relax. relax in the shower, right? Yeah, yeah, and especially if you have a glass door too, you can trap in a little more steam so mm -hmm. you get a little bit of that steam shower effect. Okay, now if you need to up your shower and get rid of that old tub. Mm -hmm. Okay, Thanksgiving is going to be here before we know. Yep. Christmas is going to be here before we know, but mm -hmm. you can take care of that, right? Yeah, so we right now, so we are booking up. So folks, if they do want to get it done before the holidays, now is the time to call. Mm -hmm. um, but we can get started sometimes in as little as two weeks. And with our remodels, we do have this amazing material that we can get installed in as little as a couple of days. So Great looking shower. I love that material in yes. there. And you also have a special, right? Yes. So right now we're doing 20% off. Uh, and that's going to be 20% off of shower remodels, tub to shower conversions. And also, I always love bringing the freebies for the viewers. Uh, we have 10 free accessories uh, with any remodel. Okay. So that's something like those grab bars or a bench. Call now to get 20% off your tub to shower conversion or shower remodel. And the first 10 callers also get a free accessory with their remodel. That number to call is 210-880-9364. For more information on I Need a Shower, scan the QR code or visit the website abcshower.com. Allie, thank you. Good to see you as always. Thank you. All right, still to come, hand-sculpted earrings and jewelry that can be customized to whatever design you want. We check out this Texas artist, Fun Halloween Designs. Next on SA Live, you still have time to get those Halloween costumes. And here at Spirit Halloween, there's something for the whole family. We're going to show you a few different looks. Don't go anywhere. Calling all good citizens, Paw Patrol Live Heroes Unite is coming to Boeing Center at Techport on Friday, October 27th. And you can enter to win a family four pack of tickets. The Paw Patrol is yelping for help as they face their greatest challenge yet. And it's up to the pups to save the day. Enter to win your family four pack of tickets to the show. Just visit salive.com and click on the Paw Patrol article. Don't miss Paw Patrol Live Heroes Unite Friday, October 27th at Boeing Center at Techport. Oh, oh, oh! Thank you. E. <laughs> ah, Ted, he's a man of many talents. Yes, indeed. Okay, welcome back to SA Live. Well, you are running out of time to find out what you're going to wear for Halloween. Yes, and our little ghost goblin, would you be a ghost or a goblin? Jen. Oh, Jen's the cutest little goblin. He's out at Spirit Halloween at the Rim, and she has this year's trendy costumes for kids and adults. Hey, Jen. 
<laughs> yes, yes, we're having a great time out here at Spirit Halloween at the Rim, and I'm joined by Rhonda Clark, one of the managers, the manager here <laughs> at this location. Rhonda, you look cute, first of all. Thank you. Love your costume, and you have quite a few different looks for us to see today. Oh, yes. Many options for all the family. Something for everybody. Yes. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get right into that. Who do we have here? So we have Anthony and Alexander in Oogie Boogie and Jack from Nightmare Before Christmas. Thank you. Very nice. Next high. up, we have Carrie and Autumn in our Witches Aww. and Celestial Cat. And then we have Bentley in our Minecraft Inflatable Llama. So cute. Oh, look at the baby. So precious. And then we that. have <laughs> Noah and Cassie in our lovely oh. Sam from Trick or Treat. Very cute. Thank yes, you. I, lo I love how it coordinates together, right? And a cute prop, too. All and right. then we have Connie and Danny from Hocus Pocus. Oh, super cute. Now, Thank Hocus you. Pocus, is that still as popular? As oh, it? yes. Yeah, always. It's Very iconic. Cute. And then we have our Landorus family. We have Pikachu, Evie, and then we have Avatar and Bluey. Very cute. Now, I know Pokemon's Thank still you. very popular, right? Oh, yes. yes. Always. Thank you, guys. Next up, we have Aurora and Nick, and then we're sporting uh, X-Men, Rogue, and Gambit. And you guys have all the accessories here, too, right? Yes. yes. We even have Wolverine. Oh. If you're bold and daring. <laughs> Thank, you, Thank you. Very nice. And last but not least, we have Martina and Jesse. Martina's dressed as, oh dear. And then we <laughs> have our celestial, our, our mystic unicorn. Beautiful. Thank you. I love all the sparkles. So nice. Now we, we mentioned earlier too, if you're having maybe a, a party or something, like I'll go ahead and step on this and we'll see. We've got all kinds of decor items, right? Too? Oh yes, we have fog machines, uh, we have cauldrons, we even have spider web of your choice and color. Spider webs too, okay. Yes, and what else can people find if they are looking to come kind of find, um, whether it's decor, costumes, what else do they have? What so we have inflatables for your front lawn. We also have um, different types of variations of accessories. If you're more of a person that likes to just wear a hat and maybe a fun t-shirt, we have that too. Now, if somebody comes in and they can't figure out how to put a costume together, are you guys willing to help out with that? Oh, of course. Yes. yes. Feel free to ask any member of our staff and we'll help escort you through the store and help you shop. And you also are shopping here for a good cause. Tell me about that. Yes. So we have a program called Spirit of the children and what we do is we fundraise for the local children's hospital each uh, spirit location throughout the united states does that our specifically in san antonio fundraises for the children's hospital of san antonio that is amazing okay i also noticed you have some halloween trick-or-treat bags right mm -hmm. what are some other things that people may not realize you have here that they can come find um I'd have to say the pumpkin carving kits. A oh. lot of people are surprised by that one. Mm -hmm. And then also we have different like spotlights and projectors. Yes. Uh, there's the ones that are licensed like for movies. Oh. And then there's just the ones with like spooky ghosts and witches. Okay, <laughs> I didn't see, I didn't even know that. Awesome. And you mentioned to me there's 14 different locations, right? In San Antonio, yes. If okay. you want to look at any of our locations, look them up at spirithalloween.com. And your hours for those who'd like to come out? Uh, today we're open until 10 but always check the website for each individual location's operation. All right, and again, you're shopping for a good cause when you come out here as well. And okay, I love this costume. Is this what you're gonna be for Halloween? Or yes. Yes. Okay. It's one of our uh, witch costumes. It's I have a couple of different accessories on. I have a little cinch belt and then I tossed on a cape, just in case it's cold, but in Texas, you never know. You never know, it's good to layer <laughs> up. Very cute, I love it. We'll get one more last look at all of the costumes here. As Rhonda mentioned, there is something for the entire family. Fiona and Mike, I will send it back to you. Do you guys know what you're gonna be? I don't know, but look at all those costumes. I mean, what a great selection there. I love the fashion show today. Yes, I'm gonna be the fairy godmother. You are? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Because Sloane's gonna be Aww. Cinderella. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. And of course, if you want more information about uh, Spirit Halloween, just go to SALive.com, click on the Ask Sailor on Live tab, or just scan the QR code right there on your nice. screen. Nice. Good job. Thank Must you. be all that weather training. It is. Okay, up next, how to personalize your style.
with the ultimate customization, customization. Turn your favorite things into hand sculpted pieces of jewelry. We look at custom Halloween themed designs next. Welcome back to SA Live. Our next guest is helping San Antonio look cute, quirky, kitschy for fall and of course Halloween season. Look at all these great little earrings. And here with handmade polymer clay earrings is Madison Osun, who is the owner and creator of Little Wonders Studio. Welcome. Thank Good you. to see you. Okay, how fun. I mean, you don't have to go on the whole big costume, just a little something yeah. as that Halloween flair, right? So what do we have here? We have some accessories that you can wear all month long. Mm -hmm. I have like anywhere from the pumpkin sugar cookies over here, jack-o'-lanterns. Oh, I'm already cookies. early on the pumpkin pie, and then some terrariums for yeah. people who don't wear jewelry. So these little terrariums, I mean, this would be perfect to maybe put on your windowsill, yeah. on your kitchen sink, on your, your desk at work or something like that. Just that little bit of kind of a... Something a, to get you in a spooky taste. season. Yeah, to kind of keep you in the, in the spooky season. How do you come up with all your ideas? Definitely I'm inspired by like everyday things, things that I personally like. Like I have some plants that I started over here. Mm -hmm. And um, I started with earrings, but now I'm starting to do other stuff like anywhere from decoration. Yeah, I'm getting just a little something, kind of, sort of, just because, right? Yeah. For not everybody, I know not everybody likes jewelry, but if they like my style, I can put it in other things as well. Okay, and these are all made out of polymer clay. Yes. What exactly is that? So polymer, polymer. clay is a modeling-based clay, mm -hmm. and it cures at a really low temperature, so I'm able to sculpt it and make it in the oven and just cure it that way. It can take a little while for me to do as well, so the sculpting process alone takes anywhere from like an hour to like six hours. But it's not real as heavy as like regular no, clay No, so it's would be, super right? light. It's super light, super, super durable. So usually when I have my earrings on, I can't even tell. They're mm -hmm. just super light. And then you can even drop it since it's a plastic base. It's, that would make it very durable. I mean, even something like a piece of pumpkin pie with whipped cream on top. And I'm glad you remember the whipped cream because yes. whipped cream pumpkin, you, you can't forget about that. Just those little, little fun things that are going to make people kind of sit there and look at you and go, but, but, oh, by the way, what do you have on? I'm, I'm actually looking. I have the a little, little skulls, so. Krabby Patty and a little pineapple from SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great show. I used to love that with the kids. So, and okay, when Strawberry Festival rolls around, you got to have a pair of these earrings. Yeah, those are fantastic. And um, those are also super lightweight, super realistic too. I get lots of compliments whenever I wear them. And you do uh, custom commissions too, right? Yes. So if you want anything customized, whether it's like earrings, a wall mount, I do little trinket trays, just basically anything I can sculpt I can make. So I do like pets and stuff. If I came up with something, about how long would it take? Uh, it depends, but roughly probably like a week or two. Okay, and then a couple of events coming up here, some markets? Yes, so I have a couple markets coming up. I do vend like every weekend, but I'm gonna be hosting some coming up as well. I have one on the 19th as well as the 27th at the Matcha Cafe. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you're also doing some other types of art as well. Yes, so like I have little, little wall mounts here, like mm -hmm. the plants, and you can just hang them up. And, and little... painting and drawings and yes. lino cut? Yeah, painting? so lino cut, you get um, like a little lino slab and you just I guess carve mm -hmm. okay. designs and it's basically like stamps. So, oh, oh really? Yeah. Interesting. And uh, the, the disco ball earrings are just, I think, classic. Definitely. E every woman needs these things. So, all right, how can folks order from you? Uh, either they can send me an email or message me on social media. Okay, well, if you'd like more information on Little Wonder Studio, again, just these fun little things, just because, why not? Head over to SALive.com, click on the SEO on SALive tab. We provide a link or scan that QR code right there on your screen. Well, I guess I should say, Happy Halloween, Madison. Yes, thank you, you too. Sorry about the audio on that uh, that package right there. That wasn't your TV. That was our problem. Sorry about that. All right, coming up, seniors, stick around because we are telling you how to get help with your Medicare annual enrollment. That's next on SA Live. enrollment is now in full swing. It runs October 15th to December 7th and rather than trying to navigate Medicare and sign up on your own, you can call licensed agents like Medicare Pro to help and their services are free and owner Randall Garcia is here to tell us more. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me today. Of course, it is that time of year when folks have a lot of questions about their health care. It can be extremely confusing. So why are you so passionate about helping people find the correct Medicare for them? 
I'm passionate about helping people with Medicare because we're really good at it. And also, I believe that people need honest advice. Um, I have clients that tell me that they get 20 to 30 phone calls a day. Even a with barrage Even with the spam blockers, they're still like spoofing 210, you know, phone numbers and things like that. And so what people are really looking for is uh, someone in person, someone that can go to their homes, meet with them, give them honest advice. I literally just got off the phone with a client earlier today and they were telling me that someone from some 1-800 number uh, was telling them certain things. Now, after they communicated what they were being told, I actually realized that everything they were being told was a lie. Oh, and so wow. their arms were getting twisted, they were getting, uh, you, they were getting pressured mm -hmm. to enroll on the spot. And I said, wait, 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 we need to pump the brakes, right? We need to meet in person, we need to evaluate your options and make sure that you choose a plan because it's not just about the insurance. I believe insurance actually affects the way people receive health care. And so that's important, I think we can agree, is that we need people on the right plan with the right doctors that fits their lifestyle and their situation. And I think you've said a lot right there on why they should choose you, but why else should someone choose your services yeah. for Medicare sign up and let's talk fees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're independent. Mm -hmm. This is great because uh, if you're getting uh, direct mail and you're getting solicited from different companies, we can actually filter through all of that. Mm -hmm. Being independent brokers, we represent most major carriers in San Antonio. And so in fact, it's 11 insurance carriers over 90 products. And so we can filter through all that and make sure that, uh, you know, people select the right plan at the end of the day. All right, and if the, are there key dates for the yeah. Medicare enrollment period? And what is the best way for someone to get in touch with you about starting that process? October 15th is when everything kicks off. It ends December 7th. Okay. And so this is the time period where people can change, review their plans, and we can make it happen. Um, and there's no cost or no obligation. We have a, a concierge service. We can go to your home. We can meet you at a Starbucks. You can come to our office. Whatever is best for you. The, the bottom line is we want to make sure that you're taken care of before December 7th. Right. Taken care of, comfortable, get comfortable, all those questions exactly, answered. Exactly. Okay. Thank you so much, Randall Garcia. So be sure to call a licensed agent at Medicare Pro today. Their services are free and you have until December 7th to make a final decision. That number is 210-245-5519. And even if you've already signed up, you can still reach out for a second free opinion and make changes. For more, all you have to do is visit the website, medicarepro.online. Randall, thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, tomorrow on SA Live, you want a really scary good outfit for Halloween? Well, you can't forget the killer makeup. We are learning transformation tips from a makeup expert who has worked on some of the biggest stage shows. Plus, it's a Halloween wonderland where you can get beautiful photos and spooktacular pictures for your Instagram or social media. We're gonna show you a sneak peek coming up. San Antonio with us on YouTube. Yeah, all of your favorite DIY videos, food, drinks, tips, and tricks. If you've seen it here, it's on the SA Live YouTube channel. Just search KSAT SA Live on YouTube and like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Halloween candy. I said Butterfinger, Mike couldn't make a decision. Reese's. Those are pretty darn good. Yeah, well, yeah. something tells me you're gonna like a lot of the Halloween well, yeah. candy, okay? M&M's. Plain M&M's from Avery right here. Yeah, yo. Ooh, I love an Almond Joy. Of course you do. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, Reese's Pumpkins. I love pumpkins. Reese's Pumpkins. I knew it. <laughs> More Reese's Pumpkins. Oh, oh Rachel. You love a Butterfinger. Butterfinger. Yes. No. <laughs> Is that David Sears? <laughs> caramel anything. Anything yeah. with. Yep. Caramel. And remember the caramels you keep in those little wrappers and you had to unwrap it and it took forever, but it seemed like it made it worth it. I didn't grow up in this yeah. country. <laughs> <laughs> Her stock answer reminded me.